Grade 5, Module 4, Lesson 15, Homework. Number 1. Solve. Draw a rectangular fraction model to explain your thinking. Then write a fraction. Write a multiplication sentence. 2 thirds of 3 fourths equals. So it wants us to use a fraction model and explain using that. So I'm going to draw my rectangular model. And first we have 2 thirds. So I'm going to break this into thirds and shade in two of them. Going the other way, we have three-fourths. So we're doing two-thirds times three-fourths. And I'm going to shade in three of the fourths. There's three fourths. Now I'm going to see what's overlapping. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six overlapping pieces out of a total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve pieces. So six twelfths. And six twelfths is equal to, if we reduce that, one half. So our multiplication sentence would be two-thirds times three-fourths equals one-half. B, two-fifths of three-fourths. So first I'm going to break it into fifths. And since we have two-fifths, I'll shade in two of those. Going the other way, I'm going to break it into fourths and shade in three of the fourths. Okay, so now the overlapping pieces that we have are one, two, three, four, five, six. Out of a total, if we counted them all up, we would have, uh, let's see, one, two, this was broken into fourths, and this is broken into fifths. So four times five, the area of that is 20, so it's equal to six twentieths, and we can reduce six twentieths. Let's see, we can both divide them both by two, so six divided by two is three, 20 divided by two is 10, so it's equal to three tenths. And our multiplication, multiplication sentence would be two fifths, times three-fourths equals three-tenths. C, two-fifths of four-fifths. Start with two-fifths. And then I'm going to break the, going into fifths the other way so that I can shade in four-fifths. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight overlapping. Out of a total, it's a five by five rectangle, so five times five is twenty fifths, so eight twenty fifths. That can't be reduced, so two fifths times four fifths equals eight twenty fifths. D, four fifths of three fourths. I'm going to start with the fifths, four fifths. One fifth, two fifths, three fifths, and four fifths. And then the other way, I'm going to break it into fourths. And we have three fourths, so I'll shade in three of those. And if I count them up, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 pieces. Out of a total, it was 5 by 4, so 20. And I can reduce 12 twentieths. I can divide them both by 2 and get 6 tenths. And I can divide them both by 2 again 
and get three fifths. So in the end, my multiplication sentence would be four fifths times three fourths equals three fifths. Okay, so here is where we don't need to draw a fraction, rectangular fraction model, only if it helps us. So I'm going to make this into a multiplication expression. So I'm going to change 5 6 times 3 tenths. I'm going to make it 5 times 3 over 6 times 10. And then we can multiply. But first, I'm going to go ahead and reduce. So for example, I see we have a 5 and a 10. And I can reduce both 5 and 10. Both 5 and 10 can be divided by 5. So if I divide those by 5, this becomes 1, and this 10 divided by 5 is 2. And then I can also, 6 and 3, 6 and 3 can both be divided by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 6 divided by 3 is 2. So my new multiplication sentence is 1 times 1 over 2 times 2. And that would be equal to 1 fourth. B, 3 fourths times 4 fifths. So 3 times 4 over 4 times 5. And I'm going to reduce. So the only thing I can do is I can divide both the 4s by 4. And if I do that, those are going to cancel out, and they're both going to be 1. So my new expression is 3 times 1 over 1 times 5. And that's equal to 3 fifths. C, 5 times 5 over 6 times 8. Now here, there's nothing to reduce because 5 doesn't have any common factors with 6 and 8 besides 1. And dividing by 1 would not be helpful. So we're going to have 25 40 eighths. D, 3 times 5 over 4 times 12. So 3 and 12 have common factors. We can divide them both by 3. So that becomes 1. And 12 divided by 3 is 4. So that becomes 4. So we have 1 times 5 over 4 times 4 is equal to 5 sixteenths and e eight times two over nine times three um i do not see any common factors so we're just gonna multiply and eight times two is sixteen nine times three is twenty seven so we get sixteen twenty sevenths and f 3 times 2 over 7 times 9. I see 3 and 9 can both be divided by 3. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. So that cancels that out. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So we have 1 times 2 over 7 times 3, which will get 2 21st. Number 3. Every morning, Hallie goes to school with a one liter bottle of water. She drinks one fourth of the bottle before school starts and two thirds of the rest before lunch. What fraction of the bottle does, Joel, Hall, does Hallie drink after school starts but before lunch? So I'm gonna draw a fraction model for this one. And she drinks one fourth of the bottle before school starts. So I'm gonna shade everything, I'm going to break it into fourths. We want to know how much she drinks after school starts. So if she drinks one-fourth before school, that means that this red part, that's before school. But after school, she drinks the rest, which is three-fourths. And we want to know how much she drinks after school starts, but before lunch. So two-thirds of the rest before lunch. I'm going to shade or split everything into thirds and shade in two-thirds of the rest, which is the blue part. 
So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six pieces out of a total 12, which is equal to one half. So she drinks one half um, after school, but before lunch. So how many milliliters are left in the bottle at lunch? So if sh this, we're looking at this rectangular fraction model, she drank the red part before school started. She drank the gr purple parts after school started, but before lunch. So she has these green pieces left at lunch after lunch. So that means she has three twelfths left after lunch or one fourth. But we don't want it in fraction form, we want to know in milliliters. So there are, she had a one liter bottle, which is equal to 1,000 milliliters. So we want to know what is one fourth of 1,000, which we can do, we learned how to do that earlier, we can do one times 1,000 over four, or 1,000 fourths. And 1,000 divided by 4 would be 250 milliliters. Number 4. Musa delivered 3 eighths of the newspapers on his route in the first hour and 4 fifths of the rest in the second hour. What fractions of the newspapers did Musa deliver in the second hour? So I'm going to draw a picture. So 3 eighths of the newspaper on his route in the first hour four-fifths of the rest in the second hour. So I'm going to split into eighths first. So three-eighths in the first hour, which we, and we need to find the rest in the second hour. So the first three would be the first hour. So the second hour would be what's left, which is these five-eighths. And what fractions did he deliver in the second hour? Well, he delivered four-fifths of the rest. So four-fifths of the five-eighths is what we're going to find. So let's split this into fifths. And we're going to shade in four-fifths. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we have 20 pieces out of, it was an 8 by 5, 40, and 20 40 as is equal to 1 half. So he delivered 1 half in the second hour. Number five, Rose bought some spinach. She used three-fifths of the spinach on a pan of spinach pie for a party and three-fourths of the remaining spinach for a pan for her family. She used the rest of the spinach to make a salad. What fraction of the spinach did she use to make the salad? All right, so she has a pan. Or she has a bunch of spinach. She uses three-fifths of the spinach for a pan of spinach pie. So green is spinach pie. Then three fourths of the remaining spinach for a pan for her family. So this is the remaining which means that there is two-fifths remaining. And she uses three-fourths of the remaining spinach for a pan for her family. So I'm going to take three-fourths of the remaining. So there's one, two, three-fourths of the remaining. We want to know what 
she used the rest of the spinach to make a salad. So I'm going to make salad is blue. So this is what's left over for the salad. So we want to know what fraction of that blue pieces of the whole spinach does she use to make the salad. So she has one, two, so two left over out of a total. It was a five by four rectangle, so 20. Two twentieths, which is equal to one tenth. So one tenth was used for the salad. If Rose used three pounds of spinach to make the pan of spinach pie for the party, how many pounds of spinach did Rose use to make the salad? So three pounds was used to make the spinach pie, which was three fifths. So three fifths is equal to three pounds. So then what I gather from this, if three fifths is equal to three pounds, then one fifth would be equal to one pound. One pound. And we're looking for one tenth. So if one fifth is equal to one pound, then one tenth, one fifth, that's equal to two tenths. So we need to find out what half of one pound is. What is half of one? Well, half of one would be one half of a pound.